Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. I appreciate your support from the depth of my soul. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. Source, please guide this message. Do not let us say anything that you don't want us saying because we know our mouths can be extremely lethal. So please guide this message. Someone here, there's a king of swords that may want to have some type of new beginning with you in love. This is uh, their love of reciprocity, something that's overflowing, equal give and take. This is someone that may want to grow old with you and things of that nature. This king of swords could be like a business owner. Um, this is someone that's very business savvy or may want to build uh, a business with you. Um, and this could be something that ends up leading to multiple different businesses. But someone is interested in uh, giving you a love connection. This masculine is re-examining things that he's looking over something or something has been brought to his attention that he may have, may have been misguided possibly about you in the past. Um, maybe when you and this person initially met, you may have had some type of love connection or just some type of genuine connection that would just took off from the beginning, but maybe they were misguided about you because people didn't want this masculine to be with you. It could have been by a parent, a group of people, family, friends, whatever it was, because I do see the five of wands out here. This means that there were people interfering with this connection in the past. Uh, and this masculine is finally seeing things for himself. Um, so this masculine is confident now that he can have what it is that he wants to have with you, what he initially believed that he could have with you when you two met. So you two may be in separation at the moment. Maybe you two went to school together, went to work together. Maybe you worked together as well went to church. I feel like I just repeated myself. I'm so sorry when I'm channeling, things just come out. But maybe you two worked together as well. And you know, maybe you two are not together anymore. You may have left the position. He may have left the position, but you two may end up coming back together um, so that you can build this new life that this masculine envisioned for the both of you initially. Someone is stepping out on faith. They are believing that they can have this brand new passionate beginning with you. This masculine may be stuck in a relationship with a feminine energy that is in the reverse. I see the star card out here in the reverse. This means that this was someone that may have been painting themselves out to be something that they are not and the truth is being revealed. It's almost as though there was a feminine energy that was up against you for a position or uh, some type of uh, offer and this person may have tarnished you in order for them to look good so that they could receive this opportunity. I don't know if this person was able to receive this opportunity, but if they did, they, it has been taken away from them and been given to you because this masculine is seeing you as someone that is more worthy of the position. They're seeing you as someone extremely kind, genuine, someone that speaks the truth, seeing you as a blessing, a partner in life and things of that nature. So they are wanting to move forward with you. As you see, we have the wheel of fortune out here that means that things are moving forward for you and while things are moving for forward for you this feminine energy and this group of people are experiencing some type of ending and they are being told to move on with their lives leave you alone things like that so this means that there's some type of collaboration that took place in the past uh, um, behind the scenes to block your forward movement block your work cause you to lose a lot of finances interfere with your forward movement your connections love work things of that nature. So, so they've been interfering with your life in a lot of different ways. And all of this is being exposed. Some of you need to be a little bit mindful. While this masculine may have a lot of passion for you, this could be lust as well. So if you decide to get in a relationship or a connection with this person, make sure you get to know this person on a deeper level before you get physical with them because you don't want to invest a lot of time into someone just so that it could turn out to be just something that's on a physical level and it's not deep. But I do think that you and this masculine do have a very genuine connection with one another. You two are just from two different side sides of the tracks, right? So you may be from a more humble background. This masculine could be someone that's a little bit more uh, solid in life or this person worked their way up to that. So in a way, you two are similar, but then in another way, you're different because where you two are right now in life are quite drastic. This person is uh, financially solid in life. Their, uh, um, their foundation has already been laid out. They don't have to really worry about finances, whereas you, you may be coming from a more humble background because I see your offer being given, being offered here. That means that you may be in need of something that someone was trying to take from you or prevent you from receiving. Uh, someone is choosing to step out on hope, uh, step out on faith to have this brand new passionate beginning with you. That means that they are leaving quite a lot behind. They are making some 
type of sacrifice. It could be a relationship, family, uh, things of that nature, old connections that they know no longer serves them um so that's what it is someone is hoping that you will be mentally conflicted about this uh offer from this masculine because of how things may have ended with the two of you so they are hoping that when this masculine comes in you will see them as a thief um or you will see them as someone malicious someone vindictive uh someone cold-hearted so they're hoping that you too do not end up connecting together but if it is meant to be it's going to happen do not force anything to happen um that's not meant to be so someone wants to take a risk to come towards you just to steal from you as well um for some of you this king of swords is someone that does want to connect with you to steal from you so it is a little bit conflicting because for some of you this is someone you're supposed to have some type of love connection with but then for others of you this is someone that just wants to come in and have some type of one night stand with you steal your joy steal your peace of mind because when they come in they're going to make it look really genuine like they're genuinely interested in you but they're really just there to steal your peace of mind this is like someone wanting you to know and believe that there are no genuine people in the world uh, you are uh, foolish for trusting that people can be kind-hearted people can be trusting and things like that so just be mindful if any masculine comes into your life giving you an offer i'm not saying refuse it but please look at everything if they want you to sign a contract make sure that you are looking at the fine print of everything read everything the in between ask a thousand questions before you sign anything because you don't want to trap yourself to any uh type of binding contract that's going to leave you in a state of destitute of leave you feeling trapped in something that that is just not healthy for you um okay um so there may be someone in here as i mentioned that wants to come in and steal this offer from you um and this is something someone may have done in the past it took effort they made effort to steal something from you Some, someone wants to come in and you know uh, uh trick you into choosing an offer that's not fitting of you someone has been doing quite a lot of work a group of people have been doing quite a lot of work behind the scenes to block your work it's that people have been wanting you to put in a lot of work but never see the benefits of your labor labor uh, never reap your harvest they just wanted you working and working and working and they wanted to get you out of character so let's say for social media for example let's say you create dolls or something or you crochet dolls right and you are extremely skilled at creating your dolls um and you keep making them and give, making them people love your content you know they come and show support uh, they start buying your stuff and then all of a sudden your audience just drops down people are not really commenting anymore why is that that's because people are behind the scenes interfering with your content your dolls are not making it out to the public eye anymore so people are not are not uh ordering as much as, as much as they used to because people are blocking um audiences from viewing your content this is what this uh toxic group has been doing behind the scenes for some of you and for some of you, this can have to do with an institution, uh, enterprise, co corporations, and things like that that have been blocking your forward movement. So if you like work for one and you end up leaving uh, and you went to the next one, they may have called that next one to tell them how much of a horrible worker you were, uh, you're not reliable and things like that. And they know for certain that's not true, but because they don't want to see you successful in another company, they want people to believe what it is they're saying about you. They're making, they are making every effort to re-insinuate that you are unreliable you're not dependable they don't need to hire you or they need to fire you in some cases this is what these companies are doing right so they wanted you stuck wanted you waiting forever and ever hoping that the longer you wait you would end up losing your patience losing your kindness losing your energy um and you would just say you know what i give up you know i keep putting in all this work and i'm not getting any reward out of it so you know what's the point of going on someone someone like me if you're built like me honey uh we don't see any of that um i'm built to keep going i'm built to wake up every day put in my 100 percent and keep going forward sometimes i don't feel like 100 percent. i wake up sick but i'm still going to work um because i like to earn my merit work for what i want in life i don't look for too much handout if someone wants to give to me thank you but i'm not sitting around waiting for handouts from people no matter how destitute of a situation i may be in i don't really look for handouts from people um but then again if people offer it I'm, i show gratitude i appreciate it um but it's not something that i'm sitting around and waiting for but some of these people in this uh five for ones this is the mindset that they like 
they are waiting for things to be handed out to them if they are not successful in life and they see that you are headed for success you put in all this work they will do things to block it because they know that that is success they will never be able to have because they don't have the mindset the will or the ambition to work for things like that uh so if they see you doing that they'll say oh she thinks she's better than us or he thinks he's better than us we'll show you who's better okay and so they may come together even though they don't like each other they may come together and try to block your forward movement so this is possibly what this five of one groups group has been doing behind the scenes um so you are in your queen of source energy with these people you're not beating around the bush you're standing up for yourself speaking your truth um you and this masculine are showing out in the same energy and that's beautiful uh so this person is taking charge of their life you're taking charge of your life you two are extremely mental so this could be a business owner as well someone that is possibly gifted um so you two intuitively know something is going on behind the scenes that there's some type of blockage or people have been taking actions to block your forward movement or his forward movement and you two may be doing things behind the scenes to uh, make sure that nothing is blocking you anymore because this connection is still going to come into being for some of you this may just be like a work opportunity or a work relationship which is okay as well but the truth is being spoken there has been a decision made for this abundance to come to you people see that you are extremely hard working and don't understand why you are still in like and things like that why you're still stuck why you're not moving forward and it's being brought to their attention that there has been effort put in place to stop your forward movement the truth has been hidden for quite a while due to a collaboration of a group of people someone may want to meet with you as well uh someone is looking at your work whether you work for a corporation whether you work on social media wherever it is someone is looking at your work they admire your work um, they may want to connect with you so you two can work together for a lot of you um, but there is going to be some type of change someone is seeing the truth and they want to take action to come towards you so they're separating themselves from this group this toxic group so what I'm seeing also is that maybe this person may have taken action against you in the past um, and now they have been uh, shown the truth. So they're walking away from whatever it is they were believing about you. And they now want to come in and speak the truth about you, truth to you about this collaboration that may have taken place. Someone in this group wants to take some type of uh, uh, impulsive action towards you, but they're being told to walk away as well because it's not in their best interest. It's like these people are extremely committed to blocking your forward movement, even though time and time again, spirit is telling them to sit their behinds down they are committed to coming towards you because they want you to feel uncomfortable feel like nothing you ever do is going to work out in life but that's not true um these people are being forced to walk away still away whatever we want whatever we want to call it move on with their lives um and if they do not they're going to keep experiencing endings a lot of these people have things going on in their life that are happening because of the actions they took took against you the lies they told but you'll never know because they're walking around pretending that everything is okay but when they meet up they know that everything is not okay these people meet up just to talk about you right just to talk about you just to discuss you you are the hot topic of these people's life you are the center of their lives there is nothing else they talk about but when if you were to come across them they would act like they had, had not seen you or talk to talk about you or thought about you in a while but if you have a social media platform just know that these people are watching you they sit and wait just to get that alert that says that you have released content and they are the first to watch okay um so this love option this love offer that's coming in this is something that people want you to feel mentally conflicted about they want you to feel like if you get with this masculine you're going to be trapped in some type of union that is unhealthy for you but that's not the truth um this is just something that's going to take a lot of work on the both of you's part for some of you uh so you have to be committed to it someone has been waiting for a while now to to undercut you to steal from you so there could be something you're building where people a group of people are collaborating on how to steal that from you but they won't be able to because sources it's not going to allow that uh, you are someone heavily guided and protected by the universe uh, you're someone very genuine and things of that nature so this king of source is confident that he can give you this offer and he knows that you are going to nurture this offer grow it into something very beautiful and abundant you could be someone that has a lot of finances coming in and it's going to be based off of your 
it's going to be a result of all of your hard work um, because you're, you're someone that's committed. You see into the future. You're, you're like a powerful manifester, right? You know how to manifest the uh, spiritual into the physical. Uh, and this may be something that this masculine knows about you because he's been watching you, keeping an eye on you to kind of see how you're maneuvering your way since you left their presence in however way you did, right? And they know that you're someone very honest. You're someone taking charge of your life in order to move forward. You're holding firm to your path. You're not straying from your path. You're someone confident, someone hardworking, committed to what it is you do. And they know regardless of what it is that's going on around you in your life, you are still choosing to move on because this is how you are built. So regardless of what all of these karmics are doing, you are still focused on your prize. You're someone extremely passionate in life and about life itself. Um, this masculine for some of you is just giving me like a ladies man energy. So do not rush into anything with any masculine. Let's learn to heal first before we start accepting love offers from people because we don't want people to keep us in an unstable energy or an unhealthy energy for too long. We all deserve to heal, right? That is our portion in life. Um, so this person is in some type of union with a star C in the reverse. This means that this is someone that's quite pretentious, pretends to be holier than thou, pretends to know everything, pretends to be spiritual, but they are not spiritual. This is someone that is uh, a fo maybe a fallen angel. So maybe they used to be an angel at some point in their existence, but not in this lifetime. This is someone that is uh, a fallen angel. They don't know they don't have any connection to source, let me say. Uh, the source is far away from them. This person is being forced to walk away from you and let go of all of these tactics they've been taking against you um, behind the scenes. Um, they are being humbled, basically, in order for you to move forward. This person has been committed for a long time to blocking your forward movement, but they are being forced to walk away. They may be losing resources as well because of actions they took against you. This was someone that was solid in life as far as, far as finances, but they've been committing their finances to you basically as far as paying people to block your forward movement. So um, source is forcing them to walk away. There could be other people in here that are walking away from this person because they see how childish and immature this type of person is. And this is something this person may have been hiding for quite a long time. Things are moving forward for you, Queen of Swords. Uh, you're someone, oh my gosh, I just noticed that you're a Queen of Swords and you're showing up here as a high priestess as well. So you're not just mentally gifted that you are someone highly intuitive you're family oriented you're very balanced oh my gosh that's a beautiful energy you're intelligent and gifted that's a threat no wonder people are coming up against you um there is some type of connection in here that has been a decision made to give you some type of abundance some type of offer and these people are extremely upset about this they are angry losing their shit about it but who cares none of us none of us star seeds give a d-a-m-n <laughs> I try not to speak French. I'm not fluent in it, so I don't feel comfortable singing it, uh, saying it. I didn't grow up in a household where we spoke French. So I let that, leave that to people that do. I don't judge it though. Do what works for you. Um, so you have a brand new passionate beginning that's coming in. Your work is going to tick up because you're someone extremely committed to what it is that you do. And people are saying that about you and they love it because in the past, people may have said that you were lazy, not committed to anything. Uh, you were not worth investing in and things of that nature. But you are being seen as someone extremely hardworking, very genuine and passionate about the things that matter to you. And this is enabling you to move forward, move on in life and away from these toxic people while they are fighting amongst themselves. Have a good day, darlings.